Let's take a look at some of the basics of the front of house screen for the Adelo Express in counter service mode. Counter service in our in our world means it's a, a transactional type where you don't have any saved orders, you don't have table management, you don't have those type things. You have somebody who just walks up to the register and places an order and then at the end of the transaction the terminal goes right back to the point of sale screen and doesn't require you to log back in. For our purposes today, I'm going to be using my coffee database. One of the things I like to do in my databases is um, put in these uh, screenshots that go in behind the login screen. They do transition about every 30 seconds and you can have several different images that rotate through. These can be specific to your restaurant or just in general just to liven up the screen a bit. You'll also notice in, the, in addition to the 10 keypad that at the bottom you have the inquire gift card balance button. This does allow you to inquire of a gift card balance without having to enter in the system just by pressing this button and scanning the gift card. Let's go ahead and log in. I have mine set for once I enter my three digits, it immediately goes into the screen. That is a setting in the back office that allows you to skip the enter key, just enter three digits or four digits or, or whatever digits you have to enter the point of sale system. Now, since I am in the counter service mode, you'll see it goes directly to the point of sale screen and doesn't require me to select the order type or guest count or even the table number. I'm able just to ring up an order and move on to the next. Now, in our system, we do have the ability to uh, swipe using gestures like you would on a cell phone and that you can take your finger and move up and move to the next uh, category. You'll see it move to the next category on the left-hand side of the screen. And you can move these fairly quickly. You can go with up or down, and or you can just touch the category key on the left, and it will jump right to that whichever you think is faster for you. The ticket window across the top here will uh, hold several different line items and will display the order as it's being rung up. The other buttons here, let's take a look. You have a the new order button or the new order des description here. It shows that the order number and the type that it is. Under the dine-in, you do have the ability to touch that and drop that down and change from uh, the different delivery, takeout, bar, uh, retail, whatever uh, type destination that you have within your system that you've programmed. Several different ones are available. The next over is seat number. Now that seat number will determine uh, if you're doing a guest count or if you're doing a table type seating you would then be able to enter an order by seat. We're in counter service mode, so we're not going to worry about that. To the right is a, the ability to sort or search in the system. You just simply touch that and enter in the name of, or even the partial name of what you're looking for. In this case, I was looking for burgers. I entered B-U-R, and then there, those are the ones that are in the system. If you were to do other gestures, such as if the order, if the, the buttons here if it exceeded 35 items, you could swipe right to left and move that over and see the next page. So your ability to have multiple items in this category is quite large in that you can have multiple screens at 35 buttons per screen. You also can touch an item with two fingers, and when doing so, it pops up a display window that shows a larger image of that item and a description. That could be a description of uh, what is actually in the item, or could be some allergens that would be listed in the description. Your choice there. That is all program programmable. This green button here allows you to see the order status. That is all the information about this order. You also have the ellipsis here, these three little dots, and that tells you that there's more below that. 
So you're able to see quite a, a lot about this order up to and including a customer search that you could attach a customer profile to this order. You can also, if you do not wish to touch the green button, you can get to that same screen by taking two fingers and swiping down in the items area, gets you to the same screen. On the right hand side, you'll see you have a recall button, a print button. This ellipsis button allows you to then open up additional buttons on the point of sale that would allow you to do different features. You have the server bank in the cashier system that you can then log in your cashiers or your servers. You do have things like countdown, driver management, time card, customer profile, hostess seating, all those different things that are available at the point of sale, all based upon the uh, person who's logged in. I'm logged in as a manager, so I have full access, but your security access for, say, a cashier would be dramatically less and therefore only they would get only access to those things that their security allows. Next up, let's just ring up a, a quick item here. And you'll see that once I have rang it up, the large display comes up across the top to cash out tip tender button here. And then I'm just going to hit exact cash. That then takes you right back to the point of sale screen. That is what we call counter service mode. I'm going to do other videos on table service, pizza, delivery, so that you can see the different screen uh, functions for each of those modes.